Okay, let's get back to this because it's been a while and as you guys saw from the thumbprint, um, I think I have an addiction. Uh, and the boxes that you saw on the thumbprint are all uh, pretty much all Jeffree Star um, products and either I need an intervention <laughs> or I'm gonna end up just I don't know anyways if you guys want to see what's in these boxes then keep on watching Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Check It Out with Sergio J. You guys already know I am Sergio J and on today's video I'm going to be unboxing these goodies here and with that being said our first box is from one size it's from Patrick Starr and this is his own makeup line if you guys don't know that he has his own makeup line then you need to um, I don't know what to say if you guys don't know that he has his own makeup line but he does he does now and so when you first open this I just dropped it okay so <laughs> okay so we have this package right here and so we have this package here and it has a beautiful picture of Patrick Star, one size and it has a cute little message on the back and I love that saying one size fits all. I remember the first time I, um, I heard it and it's just, it's just so true. I mean, why is it that makeup just has to be for girls or why is it that where in, like, in the world is there a law that says makeup was made just for girls and, and we live in a new world where makeup is for everyone and I see that guys are enjoying it and I mean I enjoy it too if you can't tell I'm wearing makeup yes I'm wearing makeup and I love it so I mean with that being said let's just keep on opening this and they just keep falling out <laughs> so this is the first Patrick Star visionary eyeshadow palette and I've seen pictures of it I saw his video on the uh, reveal and I just couldn't wait to see it and hopefully play with it soon you know it's totally different when you see video pictures of some of uh, a product and it isn't until you actually have it in your hands and you get to see it in person where you can actually get a full impression of it and I love the little um, imprint it's neutral warm colors with the exception of, of these right here where they're a little bit on the cool side but I love it it's um, I see it as an everyday uh, pal palette for everyone to wear and so I can't wait to play with this now for the other products that kept falling out when I was showing you the video the package was the Point Made 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner Pencil. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's nothing special about it. Of course, it's just a pencil, one, one size, Point Made, um, Bodacious Black. I love the name on that. This is it. Gel Liner Pencil. I believe I also got the liquid eyeliner gel which is this one over here and this one I was excited for because when I saw look at that tip right there you guys we love a good tip and so uh, this is also the bodacious black but liquid eyeliner and pencil eyeliner I got both of these I also got the eye poppers these are Spar Sparkle Vision eyeshadow. I got the colors Death Drop, Everything and More, and Pea House. And I like how it has the colors sampled on the top of the, the packaging. But I think we need to do some swatches. 
let's get into that real quick these are the eye poppers you guys I love how they look in the packaging this packaging is gorgeous right here hold on let me just and we're gonna swatch Ooh. so it looks like this is buildable and you might want to build it um, unless you have a eyeshadow a black eyeshadow shadow underneath and you just pop this over it stunning so that was death drop and the next one is everything and more wow and now we have pea house okay this is um, more of a goldish nude color and but I still love it I still oh my god I can't wait to see how they dry this is death drop everything and more and pea house and you see how that pea house is like kind of like a goldish nude I want to say I'm not sure and then everything and more is more like a pinkish color still in the nude family but very stunning with that glitter in it death drop but now we have to move on to the next box we have four boxes in total you guys so stay with me stay with me now just keep in mind I don't remember what's in all of these boxes um, I've been ordering but I've just I haven't had time to sit down and open them and so today I it was just time for me to record this and I was thinking I'm like I need to get on my YouTube I need to record sit down and record something and it, it, it's just that work has been crazy and when I barely have time to do something I, I just want to uh, get together with um, with my best friend or with family and just um, family and friends are important um, you want to make time for them and, and you can't just um, focus on work and your home life you still need family and friends because they keep you grounded to be honest and but yeah um, this is my this is the second box and uh, let me just see what's in here so in this box we have the magic star uh, concealer in the shade C3 and honestly I haven't tried it but I'm guessing this is my shade so I'll let you guys know how this one goes we have a hand mirror and this is the one from the bloodlust collection I actually decided I wanted to get one of the mirrors from each of the collections and so I had to go back and get this mirror I know I'm late on getting this bloodlust was like back in February if I'm not uh, mistaken I have to go back and get it and just you know add it to my collection and here it is beautiful it's, it's pretty big it's pretty big for a mirror sorry I just had I took a moment to stare at myself yes I did so I'm just loving my makeup today and in case you guys are wondering I did keep the ill maquillage makeup um, I mean foundation and concealer and I love it that concealer does not crease up on me under my eyes and like I'm like I just said I love it and that was one of the reasons why I kept it the foundation looks very very good and it blends in perfectly with the professional uh, primer from benefit it gives me that uh, airbrush look which I love it just makes my skin look very smooth sometimes what I'll do if I'm not gonna wear foundation I'll just put on the primer my regular moisturizer and I still get compliments on my skin okay box number three so as I mentioned before I don't remember what's in all of these boxes I've been ordering like crazy but because of work I just once they get here I don't have time to open them this is the only time I have and I have to find a way to dedicate time to my channel dedicate time to family and friends and just 
um, I love doing this. I love doing this, so don't get me wrong. If I don't feel like I'm like, oh, I have to make a YouTube video. No, I love doing the videos. I just need more time. And because right now work is taking so much time, I, I just gotta find a way. I, I really don't want to. I was just thinking about this earlier, but I really don't want to get to the point where I'm only making one video a month. I don't want to do that. Um, if the, I can't grow my YouTube channel making one video a month. I need more. The third box is... Hmm. I'm not sure when I purchased this, but... Uh, I'm looking at this picture, and this picture is from the orgy palette and I'm not sure if I ordered this after the orgy palette or before but I mean don't you guys love this picture of Jeffrey isn't it just stunning this this is gonna be one of my favorite looks of Jeffrey um but yeah this is like gorgeous alright so these two boxes have more mirrors. Oh, okay, I know which one. Yeah, this was after I ordered this one, I think this week, last week. He finally released the mirrors that were for the cremated palette. And as I mentioned before, I want to make sure I get a mirror from each of the collections. So I had to go back and get this mirror. This is the black marble mirror for the cremated collection. This is gorgeous. It's amazing. I can't stop staring at how amazing it is. The next box is also a mirror. When I saw this one, I totally wanted it. It's gorgeous. I just look at this. It's the tie dye hand mirror. It's a matte. It doesn't have that gloss to it, which makes it even more uh, gorgeous. Love tie dye and. When I saw this mirror, I really wanted it, so I I just need needed to have it in my collection. I'm happy for that one. All right, so now for the big box, this one right here. Um, I honestly forgot what I ordered, and I think this is the first time I order this many products from Jeffrey Star. And when I saw the total, this is the most I spent on a purchase on a single purchase at a one at one time. First of all, we have the hand mirror. Oh my god. Okay, see when I saw this on the website, I didn't know it was like this. Chocolate, soft touch. And yeah, it's gorgeous. It's a matte chocolate color and I love it. It's, it actually gives you that impression that you're looking at a big like, chocolate bar and you just want to bite into it. Um, I love it. I love how this looks. It's this one and the tie-dye, matte tie-dye color. I don't know, there's just something about the matte look to things and makes it look so different I guess I guess just because they're mad just different and you just appreciate it more, you know but let's get into the next product all right so I already saw this but I am still gonna share it with you guys I actually saw this already best friend has it and I got to see it from her first before I opened mine so here it is it's the mini velour liquid lipstick um vault and when i saw this i just needed to have it just to add it to my collection 
it's amazing. Um, the colors in here, you have Skin Tight, I'm Nude, Jeffrey's Nudes, Chrysanthemum, Butt Naked, Mannequin, Hunty, Celebrity Skin, Christmas Cookie, Baby, Daddy, Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, Calabasas, Androgyny, Libra Lynn, Thick as Thieves, Hidden Hills, Deceased, Tea Bag, Plastic Surgery, Family Jewels, Top Shelf, Tasty, and Dominatrix. I already did some swatches on these and I'll put them on here for you guys to see. Um, I. If I remember correctly, I I did a skin type, Jeffrey's Nudes, Rose Matter, Tasty, Dominatrix. There was another one, I can't remember exactly from the top of my head which one it was. But here are the swatches. And um, this was in, the lighting was inside. So um, it might look a little bit weird. Um, I didn't get to do a, a picture outside, but on the back you have the name of all the colors. When I was looking at it from the back, I noticed something that I also noticed on Best Friend's box. Um, I'm not sure if they're not packaging them correctly, but if you see on the top corner right here, the box is smashed. I'm not sure if this happened during shipping or this is something that's happening in the warehouse but um actually on best friends uh, box hers was like on the front right corner front left corner if you're you have it this way but anyway i love this um i needed to have it for my collection there's a whole bunch of paper in the box but it's like they just stuffed it on the top and for something like this they really should have wrapped, but I don't know. Something like this people are gonna want to put on display and hold on to. And for them not to package it correctly and just throw it in the box and throw packaging paper over it, it doesn't really protect it. So that's just me. Here is the Orgy Palette Bundle. This is the mini Orgy Palette. It does give you that sense of like an orgy going on on that picture. Like all, all of these models are gorgeous and I want to show you guys. These are the mini. Okay, so I turned down the light a little bit because it was not letting the color show as well. Here is the mini palette and here are the nine shades. You have glass wet, champagne drip, gagging, soaking sun, Frozen Fire, Bath House, Explicit, Foam Party, and Eiffel Tower. These are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now, before I swatch these, I wanted to test something on the Patrick Star Eye Poppers. I wanted to test if the shimmer will fall off if I rub on it after, I think it's been almost half an hour already so you do get a little bit of fallout from the death drop one okay now let's do everything and more a little bit more of fallout the last one is pea house that one has had more glitter in it but yeah you do get a little bit of glitter fallout i'm rubbing on it and the glitter will um smear or fall out and you can see how the, the glitter did smear when I was rubbing on it. Not a lot, but I mean, if you're very picky about the glitter falling out, then I don't know. That's totally up to you. Um, I don't really see it as a big deal. The only thing I, I did notice was on this one right here, Pea House, um, there's a big blob of just glitter right here. Maybe I didn't shake the packaging quite enough, but here it is, up close and personal. So we're gonna wipe these off. We're gonna do some swatching for the mini RG palette. So this is glass wet. Okay, wow. As you guys just saw from the finger swatch, it didn't look that impressive, but once you rub it out, it's very, very, like 
stunning. Okay, so next we have champagne drip. And I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already saw Jeffrey swatch all of these, but you always want to get somebody else's point of view. I mean, right? Oh, or is that just me? We have gagging. Okay, gagging is a little bit more on the goldish soft side, but there is some shimmer in there. I'm not mad at it. It's more of a neutral. It really blends into your skin. You can totally build it up, but it's it totally does blend into your skin, but it does give you that gold effect. Now we have Soaking Sun, and we're gonna put it next to Gagging. This one is more in, in the copperish uh, family. Champagne Drip and Soaking Sun are more, more of uh, metallic colors, where Glass Wet and Gagging are glitter shades. All right, so here they are. You could barely see. The first one right here is glass wet. And you see how you have the specks of glitter. And then you have champagne drip. That's more of a metallic. You have gagging right here where you can barely see it, but you can see those specks of glitter. And then Lastly but not least, in this copperish gold, you have soaking sun. So now we're gonna wipe these off and do the rest. From what I can see already, Frozen Fire is one of those that's gonna play with your head because on the palette it looks like a pinkish red metallic color. And then on the finger it looks more of a copper orangey color. Oh, I love it. So this one, it's one of those iridescent colors where you look at it and it looks orangey, but then you move your hand and you see those specks of, of pretty much that pinkish red color that you see on the palette. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Bathhouse. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I don't do swatches, but I just love these so much, I needed to swatch them. Okay, so Bathhouse is more of a metallic color, like the Champagne Drip and Soaking Sun. And now we're gonna do Explicit, another glittery color. And this one is more of a brownish with a hint of green. Just very, very slight green. It's not like over overpowering green. It's like, it's buildable. I, um, let me try another swatch over it not sure what to feel about that one okay now we have foam party it's very it's very very nude okay so for this one i did three swatches over it um just because i couldn't see anything but you i mean you can see the glitter you just can't see a tint to it we'll go with eiffel tower and we're gonna do wow this is a metallic brown metallic chocolate brown that's what I want to call it and it's amazingly stunning okay so now for a close-up all right so this this is the close-up of the colors right here starting with this first one that is frozen fire the next one is bathhouse this is bathhouse and then we have explicit this is Foam Party. And then we have Eiffel Tower. What do you guys think about these? I love them. I love the Frozen Fire. It just plays with your eye. It looks orangey. Like orangey red right here. But then when you see you... When I move my hand right here toward the light, you see that pinkish color come through which is really good very like it plays with your eye so I love that now this one explicit this middle one right here I'm not sure what I think about that one it's like a faded brown along with some hints of green that's it so those are the colors what did you guys think guys think I love it I can't wait to create something with it I need to find time to do it. Here is the Orgy eyeshadow palette and I just love this, you guys. 
Um, that's a little bit of Jeffrey being all naked and being nasty up there. I love it. Now, if you think back on his last few eyeshadow palettes, well, I think our first different packaging that we got from Jeffrey was Alien, right? Then we got uh, Blood Sugar, and then we had the Conspiracy palette, then we had Blue Blood, and then we had Bloodlust. Now, all of those were the packaging on the palettes were so different, like so different. When I saw this, I was just like, mm. that's it. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I thought. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I was expecting like for something like Orgy, maybe like the palette to be shaped like a body or like some like the silhouette of a body even if it was just the torso like just the body shape i don't know anyway that's just me here it is and i'm finally get getting to open my own palette all of these colors and he gave us six extra colors than usual and i just love it these are the these are the colors and as always i just wanted to take a few a few minutes and just be in awe with them and just enjoy them. Now for these, I am not gonna do a swatch. Sorry. Um, this video is already a little bit long as it is, which I did not expect it to be. And I apologize for that. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing morning, day, night, wherever you are at. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like it and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I upload my next video. Again, thanks for watching guys. Have a great one. Bye guys.